When I was only growing vegetables in my garden, so in the boxes, containers, patios, everything else, buckets, tubs, this little lighting unit was more than enough to bring the seedlings on. So I'd just kind of rotate them around this and then put them outside. But now as I'm growing all this extra veg on the allotment, this was, last year this thing was just completely inadequate for the job I wanted it to do. Because I've got this six foot table here and this table was literally full of seedlings. Um, so this was barely doing very much. It was okay for the plants underneath it. Everything to the sides of it was pointing towards the light. No good. What I want to do is make a much bigger grow light that sort of I can encompass the whole table. Well, I'm making myself an LED grow light hood. And I've bought one of these full spectrum LEDs off of eBay. I think that was about seven quid, something like that. Uh, 10 foot long. And it comes with a, a USB connector which I've cut off because I want to put a little controller on it. So that's a little LED controller which was I think about three or four pounds, something like that. And basically all you've got to do is put the controller between the, uh, the LED strip and the USB, the power supply, basically. But this will be handy because I can actually turn the LED down, turn it up or just turn it on and off with the switch there. I've cut off the USB and I've got to just solder all this lot together, the little controller. So it actually says on the controller which, which end is which. So this is the end for the LED lights and this is the end for the power supply. So I'll put that on that and that on that. I'm just going to get a little bit of shrink tubing cut Right, so we're ready to solder them bits together. Now I'm going to cut this LED strip in half. So we're going to also going to have to sort of solder it back together again so it'll run. I've marked half the length of it, which somewhere with a Sharpie marker. So that is there. So I've marked half of it. So I'm just going to try and get it right on that. Okay, so you, can you see the little brass dots there or the gold dots? And the line so that is where you cut the strip and then what I've got to do is I've got to resolder <laughs> I've got to resolder that and that and the marked positive and negative there as you can see so basically just got to join the two strips together at the end with a little piece of wire now th this has got like a silicone like coating on top of it so I've just got to cut through that silicon and pull it off so I can get to sort of solder on these little connections on the end. Now I'll show you the uh, the canopy that I'm going to stick this on. I've got some of this white polycarbonate sheeting. It's about 10 or 12 mil thick. And all I've done, well I've cut it to width, whatever width you want. Um, and I've also run a saw cut down the back there. So I've not actually gone quite through it, but it allows me to fold them sides down so that when the LED lights are stuck to this, it, it sort of bounces light back down a little bit and it doesn't blind you when you're looking at it. So I'm going to stick the LED strips on here about 10 inches apart, something like that. About there and there, 10, 12 inches. Red to red. Well, I suppose it, it really helps if you actually turn the camera on. <laughs> Idiot. What I've done, I've just soldered these two wires onto those little terminals. So the two strips as they lay side by side, the plus is on the outside of the wires, the negative on is on the inside. So I've just basically joined them with those two little wires. I'm just going to try it now and see if it works. So that's the USB plugged in. Power. Yay! It's on. Power is on. Lovely. Um, brightness down works, goes up in increments. This has also got so 50%, 25% or 100%, that's it. Also does other things, modes, speeds, dancing, partying type stuff. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's get this stuck on the board. It's got a self-adhesive self backing on it, this 
LED light strip. I'll start it there. I'm, set, I'm setting it three inches uh, just away from that edge. There. I've got some hot melt glue hotting up over there, so I'm just going to hold this uh, soldering and remedial work. I'm just going to dab some hot melt glue over that just to hold it all in place. Let's plug her in. I'm going lights out on this one. Oh yeah, she's pretty. The reason I've put them this far apart, I'm not sure what how many you know what level of light you're supposed to have on these things. I've seen them spaced pretty close together. So if I need to, I'm going to buy another one. And I'll put two more there, so they're about two and a half, three inches apart. So I'll put another strip there. I may even buy two more and put another strip on that lip, so that when this is turned over, it's kind of throwing light in from those sides as well. But I think it'll be quite cool, that. Let's have a look at it that way up. That's supposed to be an all-spectrum light. I do not know. I don't know about these things. All right, I'm going to make... I'm going to make some ends for it and uh, then I'll make a little stand. I've made some little changes to the lighting array. Um, I, I did use the stand with the just these two LEDs in, but I don't think it was quite bright enough. Um, because the plants on the outs that were on the outside here weren't getting much light and they were actually growing in towards these centre lights. I've been and bought another 16 foot or 5 meters of this LED full spectrum. So I've put one on there, one on there, one on there, and hopefully that will now give me enough light. Incidentally, the, the 5 meter strip cost me the same as the 3 meter strip. Seeing as I wasn't filming last time, I just thought I'd show you the easiest way I've found to do this. So I just literally dropped some spots of solder onto these little tabs like that. I pre-solder the wire and then I literally just touch it, melt it on. That just seems to work really well for me. I'm not sure about this one here. I might have just cut through a little bit deep but I'm going to solder it on and just try it. Uh, and if I have cut through deep when I was stripping the silicon off then I'll just cut it back to this one here and, and do it again. Anyway, I'll give that a try. We'll see what that looks like, then I'll show you the stand I've made for it. There we go, she's a-working. I did have to solder this one again, like I thought I'd cut too far through the LED strip and damaged one of the, I think it was the negative side. So I just cut another one off and soldered it, and we're good. I'll just show you the legs I made for it. Really simple piece of quarter plywood that I cut a slot into. I then used a piece of the offcut of the twin wall plastic to make this little leg. I put another piece of plywood on the other side here just to strip so I could just get a screw all the way through because that stuff doesn't really hold screws very well. So I've sandwiched the plastic between two bits of ply, run a screw through from the inside and that holds it. So I'm going to take it and put it to where it's going to live now and then when I'm ready to start my seedlings off we can start to use it. There is now lots and lots of space. They're still sort of getting light here from these side lights, so they're directly under that. So I've got a much wider space now to put the seedlings in. It's absolutely brilliant. I only really use the grow light in the evening, so around about 4.30, as the light starts to go, I put the grow light on and I generally turn it off about 9 o'clock in the evening. It just gives it another 5 hours of light on the plants. It just brings them on a little bit better. Uh, the, way I've the way I've done the stand with these single fixings means that when it is daylight, I can turn the light off, I can simply rotate that, leave it on the bench. This white interior will reflect light against the back of the plants in the daytime. So yeah, when the night time comes, you can just tilt that, put it over, 
I can also just undo that little nut and lower the light down in those slots I made so I have it more directly, more intense over the plants which uh, yeah I'm absolutely made up with that, really pleased. In my next video I will be turning the hot compost bins I'm adding some amendments to them which will hopefully make the compost so much better and also bulk the bin up so I'll show you what I'm doing with that in the next couple of days okay thanks to my patrons see you all soon bye for now